In this section, we will talk about VACO, VLAN Access Control List. router access list and VLAN access list as you know the access list that we normally refer to is the router access control list or RACO let's look at this diagram you can imagine it as a network with a router connected to different subnets or you can also imagine it as a layer 3 switch configured with two VLANs, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Let's see how the RACO works as configured. The package from PC1 in VLAN 10 to PC2 VLAN 20 as being checked by the inbound RACO and also outbound RACO. Let's send the first package. As you can see, the first package is allowed by both inbound RACO and outbound RACO, so it could reach to the PC2. Now, Let's send the second package. And you can see the second package did not pass the inbound RACO and it got dropped. Now let's send the third package. And you can see the third package passed the inbound RACO but it did not pass the outbound RACO so it also got dropped however as you can see the package between PC2 and PC3 are never sent to the router so the RACO did not get a chance to evaluate the package so no action can be taken by the RACO. In order to filter the package within a VLAN, we need to use VACO. We need to talk into detail on how VACO configuration and how it works in the next slide. VACO configuration. As you can see in this picture, the road is full of traffic. Just line the road in order to filter a traffic. In the switch, we first need to define the interesting traffic by using RACO. In order to do that, we need to issue this set of command into the switch. And now we can identify the interesting traffic. The next step we need to do is to build the map with the corresponding actions. In order to do that, we need to issue this set of command into the switch. And now the map is being built. After the map is built, we need to apply the map into the VLAN and we need to issue this command into the switch. And now the map takes effect in the switch with VLAN 20 in our case. To see how VACO works, we first need to assign the IP address for this computer and in our case we assign the IP address 10.10.1.10 .10 .10. 
Now let's send the first package. And you can see the access map, Cisco skills is being checked. And it first go to the first item, the VLAN access map, Cisco skill 10. The 10 here is just a sequence number. You can pick up any number you like. And it asks the map to see if it match the IP address in the access list red. So it go to the access list red and see if there is a match. And it find the match there. And in the record, it is a permit action. So it just follow the action to drop the package and the package get dropped. Let's analyze the second case. In the second case, we assign the IP address 10.1.10.20 to this computer. Now we send the package to the switch. And you can see the access map Cisco skill is being checked. And it also go to the first line VLAN access map Cisco skill 10 and it will check to see if there is a match in the access list red and it find the match however in the match the action is denied in the VACO if it find the deny action in the access list so it's basically tell the access map to skip the first sequence number and jump to the next sequence number which is VLAN access map Cisco skill 20 and it did not check with anything else and it just forward the package and the package gets sent to the computer at the IP address 10.10.1.200 so that is that is how VACO works